The British Foreign Secretary weighing in on all of this, expressing a good deal of concern because on that tape, the executioner, the murderer of James Foley, appears to have a British accent. Intelligence services on both sides of the Atlantic now working to try and identify his murderer, the friends and family of James Foley, remembering his life and his career as a journalist. The ISIS video is simply too horrific to show. The man being executed by beheading is James Foley, a freelance journalist kidnapped in northwest Syria on November 22, 2012, Thanksgiving Day. ISIS, the brutal militant rampaging through Syria and Iraq, say they killed Foley in retaliation for U.S. military operations in Iraq. Foley, a freelance photojournalist from New Hampshire, reads a message denouncing the U.S., presumably written by his captors. He says America is his real killer, and then Foley is murdered. The Obama administration said they're working to authenticate the video, adding, if genuine, we are appalled by the brutal murder of an innocent American journalist, and we express our deepest condolences to his family and friends. And the family of Jim Foley released a statement late Tuesday night that reads, in part, we implore the kidnappers to spare the lives of the remaining hostages. Like Jim, they are innocents. They have no control over American government policy in Iraq, Syria, or anywhere in the world. Another American journalist, Stephen Sotloff, is shown at the end of the video, the executioner speaking with an apparent British accent threatens to take Sotloff's life if President Obama doesn't stop airstrikes in Iraq. Sotloff, kidnapped on the Syrian-Turkish border, has worked as a contributor to Time magazine. <laughs> No one knows how many thousands of Syrians and Iraqis have died at the hands of ISIS militants. Across their stronghold in northern Iraq, cold-blooded mass killings of Iraqi men, women and children. We do have information that they continue um, uh, these kinds of depredations and, and crimes against humanity. There's no question about that. After dozens of airstrikes against ISIS positions across northern Iraq, the group may feel pressure, but there is no sign it's abandoning its violence and horror. ISIS has some 10,000 fighters. It's now a group the U.S. intelligence community calls a credible alternative to al-Qaeda with aspirations to attack the United States.